Welcome back 3D design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple low poly plant using procedural techniques. In this particular case we're going to use what are called opacity maps and an opacity map is a map that is simply black and white and the white parts are not transparent and the black parts are. Here's what we're going to do. Here's a fern and if you look at this here you can see that it is looks very much like a fern but it is simply a series of planes like so and you can see the outline of the plane but part of it a big part of it's not visible and that's the part that has an alpha channel assigned to it which is a transparent channel and is therefore not visible so let's get started so I've created a new scene here and the uh, first thing I'm going to do as you should always do is create a new project folder and I'm going to name this one Fern. And you can see here that it's going on my desktop. I would like for you to put yours in the folder that you created for this class and click Accept. I've provided textures for you to use on this project. You can download them from the link in the landscape assignment. And this is what they look like. You have a albedo map, which is the color map for the fern leaf. And then you'll also have for each one of those an opacity map, which is, a, which is just simply a black and white map that outlines the leaf and the black area is going to be transparent. And I made these using Photoshop. You simply have to um, find a suitable picture of a fern leaf, one that's pretty much straight on, not at a, too much of an angle. And then you have to select out the white background. Oh, and of course it should be on a, a white background or some other monotone background. And you can select out the white background and cut it out and then make one that's black and white and one that is black with the leaf on it. Here's one that has a whole bunch of different leaves on it. So what you would do is you would save this image and then you would make a new layer and fill that layer with black. And then you would make another new, new layer, invert the selection, and fill that new selection with white. And so now if you deselect, what you have is your opacity map. And if you turn this layer off, you have your albedo map. And you would export each one of these out, turning off the layers as appropriate and then you would have what you need to create a low poly plant. And of course I encourage you to give this a try if you want. So let's go ahead and create this fern. We need a plane and we need to scale this plane so that it basically looks like the size of the fern leaf that we have. And then I'm going to go to the polyplane node and uh, zero out the segments and I want this thing to have maybe 10 segments this way because we're going to want to bend it so that it sort of arches. And then I think I might want it to have another edge, oops, another edge in the middle here so we can bend it in the uh, vertical direction. So these are the edges that we have. I have one down the middle here and I have several across the width like so. So let's assign a new material, an AI standard surface material. And then for the color map, I'm going to use a file. And I have already installed these in my projects folder in the source images folder. You should do the same. And the albedo map is going to be this color one here. And I'm going to turn on show shaded and viewport so you can see it. And I have a problem because my fern leaf is turned in the wrong direction. I can easily fix that by going to the place texture node here and rotating this thing 90 degrees. And then we're going to go back to the material, go back a couple of nodes, and we're going down to the geometry rollout and we're going to find the opacity node and 
going to place the opacity map file on that node. You have to match up the correct one. The O1 and the o, each one of these has a number. You have to use the right one with the right map. And of course, I'm going to have to rotate this one as well. Now, you don't see the effect here because we need to turn something on in our viewport. We need to go up to Render, and we need to bring up the Viewport 2.0 options. And we need to change the transparency algorithm from object sorting to alpha cut. And there you have our fern leaf. Now, to create a fern plant, we're going to do a couple of things. First thing we're going to do is switch to vertex mode. And I'm going to grab these middle vertices here. And then I'm going to turn on soft selection. And you can do that by pushing B on your keyboard. Or you can double click the Move Tool settings and turn it on right here. And then I'm going to adjust the size of the tool by pushing B on my keyboard and adjusting it so that it just takes in the whole thing here. And then I'm just going to move those middle vertices up to give that a nice bend. And then I'm going to turn off soft selection by pushing B on my keyboard. I'm going to grab these vertices on the side and these on the other side by holding down Shift. And then I'm going to pull these down like so to give that a little side drape. And that may or may not look good, but I think it looks pretty good. And then let's switch to object mode. And we're going to move the pivot point down here and snap it to this vertex. So hold down D on your keyboard and V for vertex snap and snap the pivot point to that vertex down at the base. And then we're going to rotate this leaf so it stands up. And I have rotational snapping turned on. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to move this into the center. And now to make copies of the leaf, we simply get the rotate tool. I need to be in world coordinates, not object coordinates for this. Hold down shift and rotate copies. And you can grab two at once and rotate like so. Each time holding shift. And then we can simply sort of move these a little bit, rotate them, get them nice and bunched up together in the middle there. Once you have one nice bunch like that, then you can copy it, hold down shift and copy it up like so. We can group it and then scale it and then rotate it a little bit, give it some randomness. We can copy that group down again so it sits below on the bottom and scale it up, move it down some more, and rotate it as well. And there you have a pretty good fern. Now, I want you to export this and use it in your Meadow project. So to do that, it would be a good idea to grab the whole thing and make it a group and name it fern. And then I want you to set up a nice render to turn in for the fern part of this assignment. Create a ground plane. Add a skylight, add a directional light, can turn on lighting in the viewport, and shadows so you can see your shadows. You don't see the effect here because we're not using Arnold. And then, of course, I would like for you to open the Arnold render view and make a nice Arnold render. 
and you can immediately see that we have a problem. We need to adjust the um, roughness of our fern. It's way too shiny. So I'm just going to minimize this view a little bit. Just move it out of the way. I'll select my fern, go to the material, find the roughness setting under specular and dial that down considerably. Don't forget to change under render settings to JPEG, HT720. And then after you let your render finish, save the image and turn it into the fern part of this assignment. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make low poly plants, and I'll see you in the next video.